Joining us now for his reaction, Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, you just heard the report from Trey Yingst. The president is talking tough on Russia. Ukraine is desperate. Why don't we target Putin where it hurts? Where's the oil embargo on Russian oil? Well, exactly. You hit, you hit it right on the spot. Uh, Russians don't produce anything but oil and gas, and we're not sanctioning oil and gas. And go back a year ago when the Trump um, administration had sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, and then when Biden came into office, he removed Nord Stream 2 pipeline sanctions and, and then put sanctions and, and did away with the Keystone Pipeline and domestic production of oil. To hit them in the heart, you've got to go after what they're producing, and that is oil and gas. We should have sanctioned, not lifted the Trump era sanctions on Nord Stream 2, and we should be sanctioned their oil and gas, and certainly not spending American money to import Russian oil right now and helping them out. Uh, Canada is doing an oil embargo on Russia. Uh, Germany is stopping uh, gas supplies reportedly from Russia. Senator Marshall Blackburn says the president is giving up the biggest bargaining chip we have against evil. Let's watch the president last fall seeming to give in to Russia on oil purchases. Watch this, right when Putin was ramping it up. But I do think that the idea that Russia and Saudi Arabia and other major producers are not going to pump more oil so people can have gasoline to get to and from work, for example, is, uh, is, 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 not, is not right. But He's saying Russia ramp it up with oil, right? Right when Putin was ramping it up. Well, and of course he's going to, because that's how Putin makes a lot of money. So again, right now, the president sitting in the White House could solve this problem not only against the Russians and sanction them, but for the American people. Open up the Keystone Pipeline, allow for the domestic production of oil on federal lands. There's a whole litany of things that he can do to rely on, as he said last night, American-made products. How about oil being number one of those? And then sanction Russian oil. Why in the world wouldn't be using American oil instead of importing Russian oil and giving them billions of dollars that is funding their invasion into the Ukraine. You know, the oil price plunged to $10 a barrel in the 80s after Reagan got Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia said, yeah, we're going to open the spigots. That led to help trigger the collapse of the Soviet Union. We've been here before, Congressman. Even Democrat Senator Manchin says stop funding Biden's, uh, excuse me, stop funding, forgive me, Putin's war machine buying Russian oil from Putin. And he's and this administration has been weeks behind. We should have been sanctioning the Russians when they started to build up on the Ukrainian border, and this administration didn't. We should have not ever left the sanctions that were on the Nord Stream 2, and this administration lifted them, and now suddenly they're putting them back in place. There's all of these things that this administration are weeks behind. We should be getting Kyiv and the Ukrainians the weapons that they need now. We should have been giving them months ago. And Zelensky said himself to other members of Congress that as soon as Biden lifted the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, to allow for them, the Russians, to be able to get that money. That's what has funded this invasion into the Ukraine. Congressman, final question. Uh, the Joint Economic Committee is putting out numbers showing the extra cost to American family households. It's, and it swings from anywhere to $300 to $500 more costly, more cost for U.S. families because of gas and oil going up. Uh, you know, so we just had Congressman Fitzpatrick on. He is he's asserting that the White House does not want to stop buying Russian oil and gas because it would cause gas prices to go up even further. Is is that that's a serious political cal calculation there? What do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, of course they don't want to stop that because then that would require us to produce oil domestically, which goes against their far left Green New Deal progressive ideology where we're not going to we're not going to produce oil here, but we're going to get it from the Russians and the Iranians and the Middle East and these other countries who harbor terrorists. Why would we do that when we can produce it right here in America, lower the cost of everyday Americans on, on what they what they choose to do with their their automobiles? Congressman Greg Stubbe, it's great to have you on. Thanks for spending time yeah, with for us.